New at 6, 11 Lives Molly Oak is back in Rockdale County where she spoke one on one today with the EPA. Molly, they gave you a better understanding of how the air quality is actually being monitored there. You know, every day that I've been out here, I've been standing in front of the biolab facility. Well, tonight we're changing things up. We're taking you behind the scenes to EPA's, what they're calling it, staging area. We're getting more information on how they're monitoring things in the air and how they're using that data to determine risk. So they can tell me, oh, hey, this station at this location, we're starting to see a spike. While walking through the EPA's staging area, crews are watching for chlorine and hydrochloric acid. Those are the two main byproducts of this chemical reaction or chemical decomposition. Greg Harper with the EPA says there's still problems, right? There's still risk out there. There's still product out there. There will still be plumes and those plumes will still continue to go over our action levels. He says the EPA is tracking the plume through this mobile lab, which arrived at the end of last week, a mobile team. They can go out and chase that plume and stationary devices like this one which is sending back data 24 seven. We can react to that immediately. We can send teams out there immediately and, and look to see if there's additional concerns. Do we need to notify the public? You know, and we feed that information right back to the county EOC. Harper says there are different variables at play when it comes to the plume and its potential impact. We asked Harper why some reports will show a spike in chlorine at a certain station, but none of the others. It's just the, the chemical makeup of the plume. You know, it's not uniform whatsoever. Um, wind conditions matter, um, the amount of chemical that was released matters. Um, so if the wind's much slower, that, will, that concentration may stay together more. If you've got more wind, it may be dispersed a little more. Um, it it's also depends on the activity on the site. When we look at risk levels, those are always over a time period. And so for an emergency response, we set up risk levels for a one hour potential exposure to the community. He says the time of exposure and amount of exposure are critical when making decisions regarding health risks. Adding the EPA is passing that information on to county and state health department officials so they can make decisions for the community. If it's higher and lower during that hour, it's averaged out across and that's how risk numbers are calculated. Okay. So you will see spikes and then you'll see troughs um, and then it gets averaged out over the hour. So you look at all those different ways they're getting data. This is one of the stationary devices that's sending back the data 24 seven. Now, typically it doesn't have this on top of it. The EPA says this is an added piece on sunny days to protect it from getting overheated. Now, all that data comes in and gets published to a place where you can see it. We have you linked up to that right now on 11alive.com. Reporting live in Rockdale County, Molly Oak, 11 Live News. All right.